Uh, Robert H. Chase II, uh, creator Adam and Eternity, and the owner and editor of Rogue Comics. With Adam and Eternity was create the story about ideas and mythology. Young, impossible creation is like thrust into a post-apocalyptic world, and he's given nothing, uh, absolutely nothing to deal with, and he must discover who he is and how he came to be, and once he discovers that, then he must decide the fate of the universe he was born into. And so, you know, I started off with, like, Sandman uh, by Neil Gaiman, obviously, crazy big ideas on that. Uh, then, like, Lucifer and a lot of, like, the old Vertigo series, and I started getting into Image. And then I started getting into a bit of manga. And what I really liked was always that traditional Japanese look. Because, you know, it has so much emotion, especially when the eyes. It just kind of represents this rawness of, like, we're going to explore these emotions and these feelings, like, as close to the, the core as possible, you know. And it, it almost leaves the artwork and the characters, like, vulnerable. Um, it's like this being that's just in the middle of nothingness. have always been a huge part of me. Uh, Buddhist, Hindu, Tao from Japan, Japan uh, Voodoo, uh, Native American, big berserker influence as well. You know, just less action, but more philosophy and more just uh, beautiful art to center that. We don't really know if he's a human or a god or what. We get to judge by his actions and the things he says and define him for ourselves as the reader, you know, and it it really plays into that internal exploration and the idea of spirituality that kind of, you know, ruminates in this whole story. Is he a god? Is he like a, you know, a creature? Is he like a hero? Is he like a messiah? There was fire, then there was life, and then there's death. <laughs>